In this video, I'm going over how you can pre-order an unlocked iPhone 11 Pro, uh, what it means to purchase an unlocked iPhone, and why that may be beneficial can actually help save you money in the long run. So first, how to pre-order an unlocked iPhone 11 Pro. You can just click to learn more on their website to go to the page, click view pricing in the top right hand corner. And here we're going to get a page where we can select our iPhone 11 Pro. We can choose if we have an iPhone to trade in. I'm going to say no. We can choose our model, either iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11 Pro Max. Very interesting naming scheme, Apple. We can select our finish. I really like the space gray and the silver. Uh, personally, not a huge fan of midnight green, but it is a fun new color, at least something different. You can then choose your capacity uh, and then you can choose your carrier. And this is where you can choose at the bottom, unlocked and SIM free. Previously, with other generations of iPhone, this option was not available from day one. You had to go with the T-Mobile variant, uh, but the unlocked and SIM-free model is available with iPhone 11 Pro to pre-order. Pre-orders go live this Friday at 8.01 a.m. Eastern Time, which is where I'm located. And now, what does it mean to pre-order an unlocked iPhone 11 Pro? Apple actually does a really good job explaining this in their frequently asked questions section. If we scroll down, what does SIM free mean? And here Apple explains SIM free means your iPhone doesn't ship with a carrier nano SIM. That's the size of the SIM card the iPhone 11 Pro takes. The SIM free iPhone sold on Apple.com and at the Apple Store is unlocked. That means you can use a nano SIM or eSIM from any carrier that provides service for iPhone. If Sprint is your carrier, you'll need to get a nano SIM card in order to activate your iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro. So this basically means your iPhone will ship without a SIM card and you can use it with any carrier of your choice, activating it by just popping in your existing nano SIM card or in the case of Sprint, getting a new nano SIM card uh, to pop in that iPhone. You can also activate the iPhone with an eSIM plan if you choose. This uses the built-in SIM card in the phone and you activate it by scanning a QR code. So that's what it means to purchase an unlocked iPhone. It means you can use it on any carrier you choose. There are no restrictions. You can switch plans and carriers at any time. And what's great about the new iPhone 11 Pro is if you go to the tech specs page, it has all of these cellular LTE bands baked into it. That means it works on the AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon networks. Whichever iPhone model you choose, it will work on all four networks in the United States. This is awesome because you can use this phone with any plan or any carrier, and this is where you can actually save a lot of money by going with one of the prepaid options. And I wanna just quickly show you what I'm talking about. So instead of going with Sprint, paying 60, 70, or $80 a month for one of their unlimited plans, you could choose to go with a prepaid carrier like Tello, or you could pay $14 a month for two gigs of data, or you could up it to four gigs of data for $19 a month. Tello has much more affordable plans um, that will work with the iPhone 11 Pro. So this is something I definitely recommend. That's kind of what my channel is about. You can even get, this is actually a 25 gig plan, even though it says unlimited, uh, but again, $39 a month, as opposed to 60, 70, or $80 a month. The same thing is true with Verizon. Instead of paying for one of their ridiculously expensive plans, here for one person, these prices are 70, 80, or $90 per month, plus taxes and fees, you could go with a carrier like US Mobile, where you can choose the exact amount of minutes, texts, and data you need for a super affordable plan, or you can go with one of their unlimited plans. You can build a custom unlimited plan with one, five, 10 gigs, or 15 gigs of data, choose the data speeds, uh, and get plans that are like $50 a month, which is much cheaper, or even drop the price down further to $30 a month for five gigs. You can also customize your plan, choose the exact amount of minutes, text, and data you need for much more affordable options. Or if you're at that $40 a month price point, boom, Visible has a true unlimited plan at just $40 per month. $40 gets you unlimited high-speed data and unlimited hotspot data. You are deprioritized during times of network congestion, uh, but again, this is literally half the price of what Verizon is offering, and I think a very compelling plan where going with Visible will literally save you over $400 per year when compared with Verizon's unlimited plans that you see here. And again, Visible does use the Verizon network for coverage. On the AT&T network, instead of going with AT&T, paying $70 or $80 per month, uh, you can go with Red Pocket Mobile. They have some super affordable plans, uh, 10 to $40 to $60 a month, depending on how much data you need. 
Red Pocket uses the Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile networks for coverage, uh, and they have some really affordable options. You can see just $30 a month for 5 gigs of data or $40 a month for 10 gigs of data. That's much more affordable than the other options out there. And finally, on the T-Mobile network, instead of paying for their cheapest unlimited plan, which actually starts at $60 a month, you could consider a carrier like Mint Mobile, where you can pay $15 a month for 3 gigs of data, $20 a month for 8 gigs of data, or $25 a month for 12 gigs of data. So these plans, as you can tell, are much more affordable than the other options out there, which is why I recommend them, and why purchasing an unlocked iPhone 11 Pro, while it may be an expensive upfront cost of over $1,000, it can help you save money in the long run by allowing you to choose a significantly more affordable plan that meets your needs and still provides the same coverage you're used to. So that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like it if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.